Welcome to this introductory walk around video on the Honda HRV. This is the world's best selling small SUV. So what we'd like to do is take you around this car from the outside where you'll see the balance of SUV style and also the coupe lines. We'd like to take you inside and show you some of the features inside the vehicle. And then we'd follow that on with some of the, the technology and safety features that you're going to benefit from with this car. From the dimensional point of view, we are 4,335 millimetres long. Then working our way from the front of the car back, you'll notice that the lights blend in beautifully with the, the lines on the side of the car, which are almost pointing towards the door mirrors. Now, these door mirrors are electrically operated, and if we take a width measurement of the car, at the widest point, obviously with the door mirrors folded out, it's just 2,019 millimetres. So that's the widest the car's ever going to be. Then if we start looking at the, the roof line, because we have a height of just 1,605 millimetres, you can start to see those coupe lines, both in the roof line itself, and also the fact that the rear door has hidden door handles. Now we're at the back of the car, you can see the, uh, the spoiler there blends the roof line nicely in to give that sporty look on the, the tailgate as well. After opening the, the tailgate, we have up to 470 litres of boot space in there. That's with the seats up. However, if we wanted to fold the seats down and load up to the, the roof line, we have 1,533 litres of usable boot space in this car. Looking at the wheels, this 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheel is a really attractive design and that's also surrounded by the body coloured wheel arch trim and also the side skirts, front skirt and the one at the rear of the car, again all body coloured to give that extra premium look. Those beautiful lights we saw earlier at the front of the car are full LED. So the daytime running lights, the low beam, main beam, and also the indicators, full LED, as are the indicators in the door mirrors. What does that mean? Well, if we take the front, for example, you're going to be seen more easily because the LED light will be more bright, keeping you safer. Also, they're going to project the light further so you can see further at night time, again, keeping you safer and reducing the fatigue on your eyes. And something else that reduces eye fatigue is the fact that the light given out by the LED is more like natural daylight. So again, really great, making nighttime driving even more comfortable. Added to this, we have high beam support system. What this will do is when you're driving with your lights in the auto position, it will automatically go between dip beam and main beam to actually maximize your visibility, keeping you safer on the road. We've mentioned the sleek lines of the roof on this car. I'd just like to draw your attention to the, the roof rails either side. Now, they're gonna be really useful for those with the active lifestyle who want to maybe put a roof box or a cycle carrier on the roof. Absolutely brilliant. In board of those roof rails though, we actually have a panorama roof. Now, if you're inside the vehicle, uh, what you can do, you can have the sunshade backwards or forwards to adjust the amount of light coming through. And of course, if you want to adjust the amount of air movement in the cabin, you can either tilt or slide that roof all the way back. When it comes to the powertrain, we have a wide variety of choices. Three engine choices, and of course, we have a choice of transmissions for you as well. Most people, though, are concerned about the economy. So we have the, uh, the diesel engine, which is 1.6, and that has uh, CO2 from as little as 105 grams per kilometer. And if we use the WLTP figure for combined, we actually get 56.5 to the gallon as our official figure. So that's from an economy point of view, but from a performance point of view, we have our 1.5 turbo in the sport trim, and that's going to give us 182 PS of power for really, really progressive acceleration. When it comes to safety, HRV actually employs a number of different sensors. So we have LIDARs, we have multi-purpose cameras, rain sensors, light sensors, all contained right at the top of the, the windscreen there to help keep you safe and comfortable on the road when you're driving. City Brake Active is one of the features that actually uses some of the uh, information from the top of the screen. It uses the LiDAR and what this will do, it'll look at vehicles in front of you and actually gauge a closing speed and if the driver did nothing it would actually autonomously brake 
and if you were going slow enough up to a stationary vehicle, it could even mean you don't come into contact with that vehicle ahead. And at the back of the car, you can now see the camera we've got for the rear view camera. This allows us, when we select reverse, to see what's behind us. We have a choice of views and also a choice of static and dynamic guidance lines to help us get into those tighter parking spaces. Magic seats are really one of the HRV's party pieces. So we have the ability to fold uh, both of the, the backrests of the seats completely flat so that we have that larger capacity in the boot, which is amazing. What they do that most other seats don't do though is when you fold those back into place, so you've got it now in the position for a rear seat passenger, is you can fold those seat bases up. And this is also in a 60-40 split as well. So both bases could be up or you could just have the left or the right hand side up. And you'd be surprised the amount of items that you can actually carry in here that you wouldn't be able to carry in any other vehicle of a similar kind of category. They are, as the name says, magic. So the key fob operation for opening and closing your HRV is really, really simple. So just two buttons on the remote. So when we press the unlock button, it'll unlock the car for me. So we can open the doors. When it comes to locking the car, we can press it once, that will lock the car. However, if we press and hold it for a second time, it will fold the door mirrors in for me, also engaging the super locks, Honda's dead locks. Now that's brilliant, but what we can also do is if the key's in my pocket, I can actually use the, uh, the keyless system. I put my hand in here, it will unlock the door and I can actually open it. And the reverse, obviously when we come to um, closing the door, if my keys are in my pocket or a jacket, whatever it may be, I can just push the button on the side can give it a second push if I want to, to fold the door mirrors in. But we can actually do a little bit more than that, more than just folding door mirrors in. We can actually open windows with this one, the panorama roof as well. So how you would do that? Off the key fob, unlock the car, press and hold it for a second time, and you'll see that it will wind down the, uh, the windows and also slide back uh, the panorama roof. If you only wanted the windows half the way down, just take your finger off as soon as you want the, the windows to stop. And exactly the same for closing them. When we lock the car, we press it a second time and hold it for as long as we want the windows and the roof to keep winding. Brilliant. Nice little feature that when you're approaching your car on a sunny day, let that warmth out of the car before you uh, get in, turn the aircon on and roll the windows back up again. Now that we're inside the HRV, we're greeted by these premium leather seats, which are incredibly comfortable. They're also heated on this car, which is fantastic. And when I'm in, I've got plenty of space, whether I'm a passenger, driver, uh, a rear seat passenger, but it's not just the space we've got for people in the car as well. So we've got uh, it's like a double deck center console here. So we've got storage down here where we can plug our cables in for charging our phones, etc. And also a really clever design for different sized cups in our central cup holder. Central on the dashboard is the, uh, the Connect unit. So what we can see right at the top, we have a CD player, which is one of the, the many formats we can use to, uh, to listen to music. We have um, DAB radio, we have FM radio, and of course, if you want to, you can plug in music through a USB device. Also on there though, you can have uh, the Garmin sat-nav, which will pre-install on uh, different grades of the vehicles. We'll also have the ability to pair our Bluetooth phones, keeping us nice and safe so we can make and receive the calls off our uh, steering wheel buttons. Just underneath the connect screen, we have another smooth, clean panel. This is where we can adjust our climate control settings. So it could be temperature, it could be fan speed, or it could be which of the vents the air is actually going to come out of. Now on this particular HRV, we also have a dual zone climate control. So the driver and the passenger could have different temperatures to make sure they're as comfortable as possible. Not only that, but in that same panel, this is where we have the uh, little switches to turn on our heated front seats. We've gone for an electronic parking brake on HRV, and there are a couple of benefits to this. It's gonna give us nice clean lines inside, and it's really easy to operate, both applying the brake and also taking the brake off. So when we're stationary, as long as our seat belt's on, we can uh, take the, the parking brake off, or we can actually get it to automatically release as soon as we drive off. So at the start of our journey, if we want to press the, the brake hold button, what this will do for us is allow us not to actually need 
that electronic parking brake. When we come to a set of traffic lights, it'll hold the brakes on for us, and as soon as we want to drive off, it releases the pressure. So those two features work really, really closely uh, hand in hand. But also the great thing with the electronic parking brake is that it's hardly any pressure to apply it and little or no pressure to take it off as well, making it really, really easy to use. The Econ button is found to the right hand side of the steering wheel, just above your right knee. And when you press this, what it's going to do is soften the throttle response, which encourages you to drive a little more economically. And also it can make both cruise control and your climate control work even more efficiently, saving you fuel and money. The final feature I'd like to mention inside follows nicely on from the Econ button, because it's designed to improve your fuel economy and save you money. It's idle stop. What this will do, it automatically uh, stops the engine if you come to a set of traffic lights, maybe a roundabout where you're going to be stationed for a little while, and as soon as you want to pull away, it restarts the engine automatically. A great invention. Thank you for joining us on this walk around of the Honda HRV. I hope you've enjoyed everything that you've seen on the outside of the car with its style and fantastic looks, on the interior of the car and also those safety and technology related features inside. Should you want to know more about the car, please feel free to contact your local dealer who will be delighted to book an appointment, show you further around the car or even take you for a test drive. Thank you for watching.